What's up guys? I want to talk for just a second about um, a tool that I was blessed to be able to have this year. It's the Minn Kota Riptide Eye Pilot. I, I'm not I'm not much on reviews until you know like I'll, I'll watch YouTube videos where people are unboxing things. Um, I hate that. I mean I, it's cool to look at an unboxing video but uh, what I want to hear is the guy who used it and actually put it to the test and I want to know how it performs. I want to know how he uses it. I want to know those type things. So I'm going, there's, there's a ton of videos about how these things work with the, uh, the anchor lock. I'm going to explain that, but I'm going to cover a few things um, that I could not find before I bought mine. Um, my wife bought me this this year in May. This is August, first, first part of August. Um, she bought me this in May and I've used it all season. Uh, had a couple of hiccups with it. And I'll talk about that too and uh, tell you what those were. So here it is. Um, Minn Kota Riptide. Uh, this is the newest one with the Bluetooth. This is a 70 pound thrust. Um, so it locks in. It's got this collar on here. When you're on the bow of the boat, it's real easy. You just reach over and with your foot and put your foot on this thing. <clears throat> but doing it with your hand, it is tough. Down easy. Get it seat. All right. So here it is. I'll show you this side. I've got it on the uh, quick release mount on my boat. Got a lock on it, obviously. You pull this thing out, and the whole motor will pop right off. Just unplug it. And you're ready to rip. Uh, it goes down. It will automatically bind with your remote, just like that. Uh, this remote is this remote in particular is Bluetooth. Um, when you're out there on the on your spot or whatever, you're out there fishing, you find a place you want to stick at. You hit this anchor lock right here. All right, so when I was looking at buying mine, my whole point, my whole intention of wanting this was offshore, not inshore. Um, obviously inshore also, but uh, I like offshore fishing, and I could not, I could not get a good anchor. No matter how much rope I put on that thing, I've changed anchors out. I've got an anchor on this boat that is rated for uh, a boat six, seven, eight more feet in size and a lot more weight. And uh, it, at one time, I had 300 foot of rope on that thing, and uh, just couldn't get it to anchor good in 60, 70 feet of water. Um, it would anchor, but then you would drift a little, drift a little. You know, it just it never would grab. So I thought I seen this. And I was like, anchor lock, man. What if that? What if I just got a oversized powered solar motor with the anchor lock and used it for offshore? So that's, that's kind of what I did. I, I got as big as I could afford. Um, this package right here, I've got. Uh, I think with the plug and everything, I probably got about fifteen hundred bucks uh, in this package with the remote. So this thing is Bluetooth. Uh, even this remote is Bluetooth. But not just that, you can connect it to your phone Bluetooth. Um, let's see if it's connected automatically. You go in, Bluetooth, iPilot, connected. Look at there. And I can come over here to the iPilot app. I got lots of fishing apps. And watch this. Watch this dude. This is something else nobody showed me. Look, there's like no delay. No delay whatsoever. Kick it on, kick it off. But uh, but that's the app, iPilot. App is free, and it's easy to pair with your phone the first time. There's a button right. I can't see up here, but uh, right here, you hold this button down, and it's gonna make this noise. I don't know if you can hear that or not. It's gonna make that noise. You hold that thing down, and your phone is gonna recognize it, and you while holding this button down you also with your other hand you choose the iPilot on your Bluetooth 
and it will link together. You don't let go of this button until you see it connected on your phone. Well then obviously you go into your app and it's automatic. So back to the offshore thing. So I was told by people that that wouldn't work, that this is not that, this is not made for that. I fish at a spot that's about 18, 18 miles from my boat launch, right? It's almost 20 mile mark. We get out there and sometimes it's rough and I anchor the uh, rig anchor. I try to rig anchor too, it's like a shepherd's hook. Um, I'll show you that another day. Uh, it actually belongs to someone else. I gotta give it back to Frank Miller, if you're watching this. They're back. So, it works, it works great. It's good for about four or five hours, depending on how rough the water is, depending on how much power it's gotta use, it's good for that. So, that's what I wanted to cover. Uh, like I said, I got it in May. Right here at the end of July, my remote quit. It just stopped, it just stopped working. Um, and I just want to say kudos to uh, Minn Kota. I called them Monday while I was at work uh, during the day. They're only open Monday through Friday. So Friday, I'm out in the middle of the ocean and I uh, got the anchor lock set and I go to change my position and my remote is broken. Um, I had to reset my phone recently. Couldn't remember how to connect it. It, it was just a mess. I ended up having to just unplug it, obviously. Um, but anyway, long story short, Monday I call them up, tell them what the thing's doing. Uh, they asked me a couple of questions about my remote. <clears throat> uh, I'm pretty good with tech stuff, so uh, I said, well, let me go home and try that. So I come home uh, Monday, I changed the batteries out. I wanted to talk to them before I did it. Changed the batteries out, just like they said. Tried mashing the buttons a certain way, like they said, nothing worked. Uh, called them back. I took it with me to work Tuesday. Took the remote. Called them Tuesday morning early, 7 o'clock. Uh, my time. Guy answered the phone, talked to him. Um, he said, All right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to send you a shipping label. I'm going to email it to you. He said, Package that thing up. He said, as soon as FedEx scans it in, he said, I'll put you a new one in the mail. So uh, Tuesday, I packaged it up. I went on my lunch break, dropped it in the FedEx drop. And that was this past Tuesday. Today is Saturday, and here's my new remote. And uh, if you don't know, there's a way to get into settings. When you get your new one, if, if that happens to you, or if you get your iPod, or you get your whole rig and your remote's not paired, um, you hit that up button and go to system, and go down to pair. And when you click on that, that then you also mash this pair button, just like you do with your phone it'll pair these two it takes literally like five seconds um, no big deal you use this check mark to turn it on it gives you a little disclaimer every time see it links up pretty fast hold it down to make it shut down so anyway so that's it Minn Kota Riptide power drive iPilot Bluetooth um, I say you can't fish without it. So, and if you have any other questions, uh, anything I didn't cover that you can't find, feel free. Shoot me a message and I will give you a follow-up video. I will answer your questions. Um, because the last thing I want to do is leave somebody out of information that they need to uh, make a decision. Because that's a lot of money. But I say you can't fish without it. So, thanks guys. So my name is Wes Hubert, and this is Real Life. Later.